Many of us aren't as lucky as the pros in that we don't have all the time that we'd like to train and ride our bikes. What with work, family and just other life commitments, it can often be a challenge to find the time to train and ride your bike. We're currently out in Italy on a tech field trip and we haven't had that much time to train and ride our bikes. No, it's been really busy, but we still want to keep fit. So in this video, we're going to tell you tips uh, and advice on how you can still train and cycle and stay strong around other life commitments. I mean, it's basically what we, what yeah. we do. Does it involve riding up those mountains? We got time for that? It might do. Let's go. When you don't have much time to train, it's really important to be organized. Plan your week out, look at what time you have available, and then try and fit bits in as and when. There's loads of really good software out there that you can use to do this and loads of great apps. But if you don't fancy doing that, you can just use a good old fashioned diary and write it down. But by planning it out and writing it down somewhere, whether it's on an app, or in a diary, it makes you accountable and you're much more likely to stick to sessions and workouts that you've got scheduled ahead. Also be organized with your bike and your kit to get your tires pumped up, saddlebag on and bottles ready to go. So you don't have to faff around with that before your ride. It's also gonna save you time if you lay your kit out the night before. I always find myself looking for my arm warmers for a good five minutes before every ride. A while ago, we did a video looking at could you do a workout session in just 30 minutes if you factored in the getting ready time and the getting changed time after into that 30 minutes. And the result of that experiment was that, well, it was hard. yeah, I mean, you can, but if you want to do a quality session, you're probably looking at at least 45 minutes to 60 minutes once you factor in that total time of getting ready, getting your bike ready and all the faff. If you are short on time, a turbo session or indoor session is definitely the way to go. You could do it on a static bike, on the rollers, or on a turbo. I love the turbo because there's no messing around, there's no stopping at junctions or waiting at traffic lights. It's just quality. You can completely control you know, what you do. You're on the pedals the entire time, and in sort of 15 to 30 minutes, you can really get a lot of quality training done. Definitely, and you can do any kind of session you want. I could do my sprint sessions, you could do your time trial sessions, but make sure you always have a session in mind when you get on, because there's nothing worse than getting on and not having an idea what you're gonna do. And we have loads of indoor sessions on the channel, so check them out. Unfortunately, I haven't got my wife trainer here with me in Italy, so training indoors just isn't an option. Fortunately, there are some amazing roads around here to ride on. If you haven't got an indoor trainer or riding indoors just isn't your thing, don't worry, you don't have to have hours and hours on your hands to be able to get a good ride done on the road. It all depends what you want from your ride. Some of you might just want to go out and clear your head and have a nice relaxing ride. Others of you might want to get a really good training session done. I've finished work for the day now and I've got an hour until it gets dark, so I'm going to head out, but I don't really know the roads that well. And this is where apps can be really useful. By logging on to Komoot, I can see that in the area where we are, we're next to some amazing roads and some bucket list climbs. One in particular is very close, the Samano. This is a climb that I've always wanted to ride and by looking on here, I can see that I can. For those unfamiliar, it's a key climb in the monument Il Lombardia and it is a savage climb, 1.7 kilometers around 17% average, max gradient 27%. Yummy. Climbs are great. You can do all sorts of efforts. You could do one minute efforts, two minute efforts, three minute efforts, or even longer. It all depends on the type of climb you have. My favorite is Tabatus. 20 seconds on, 40 seconds off. All the way from the bottom of the climb to the top, turn around and repeat it again. Right, so my rest done, better get off. Oh. Once I've plotted my route in Komoot, it's synced to my Wahoo account, which means that any route I plot and save in here automatically syncs and appears on my Wahoo device. Amazeballs. God, I love technology. If you don't have a bike computer and you're restricted on time, an out and back is a classic. Head out for 30 minutes, turn round and head back, and you're unlikely to get lost. Unless you're Hank, then 
it's possible you might get lost. Right, off we go. If you are away without your bike, don't worry, you can still improve your cycling and keep fit. If your hotel has a gym, why not hit the gym for 30 to 40 minutes before breakfast? You never know, they might even have a static bike. As you can probably tell, I spend a lot of time in the gym. But if you don't have access to a gym or weights where you're staying, fear not, because you can work out in your hotel room or just use body weight exercises. They can be really effective, especially if you're not used to them. And resistance bands are a top tip as well. They're really easy to pack down into your luggage and don't really weigh much. Examples of really good exercises you can do without a gym include body weight squats, single leg squats, glute bridges, planks, and the classic press up. If, I mean, if you're strong enough, One. <laughs> Something else that I've got into fairly recently that I find is really beneficial for mental well-being, relaxing me, improving posture, core strength, and helping me stretch out is yoga. It's something that you can fit in almost anywhere and a little often is really beneficial. Namaste. Something is better than nothing. Just make sure you do some sort of activity because you are bound to feel better after it. Yeah, release those endorphins and make yourself feel all nice and positive. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and found our tips useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments what your favourite session to do is when you're short of time and trying to cram something in. And we're going to go and run inside now because it's tip your tipping it down. Running back indoors running. when it's raining. Yeah. A bit of yoga. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye.